monkey see, monkey sue will not do in federal court. The oral arguments were straight up bananas. Is there a similar holding by the Supreme Court that man and monkey are the same? Uh, no, Your Honor. Now, in a 50-page jungle of legal jargon, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled. The monkey does not have standing to go into federal court to sue for copyright infringement. The monkey is Naruto, a crested macaque who took these famous selfies with wildlife photographer David Slater's camera. Making a different face uh, each time he did it. Animal rights group PETA said Naruto knew exactly what he was doing, making him the author entitled to profits from Slater's book. Here you go. Now that's on my phone. That's your phone, but I own the copyright in that photograph because I took the photo. You own that photo. I own that photo. As legal fees mounted, the two sides decided to cut the monkey business and reached a settlement. And that's the first time an animal will receive direct financial benefit from a work he created. Under the settlement, Slater will pay a quarter of the royalties from this book to charities that help this specific monkey. That could have been the end of the case, but the court decided not so fast. There's complicated questions about how to protect those animals in federal court. In 2004, this very court ruled that animals can sue under the Constitution, a decision it could now decide to revisit. But in this case, the monkey and all animals, since they're not human, lack standing to sue under the Copyright Act. Acts of Congress only apply to humans unless Congress says otherwise. We believe the court's decision discriminates against him simply because he happens not to be human. PETA wants to give animals a voice, but the judges said they gravely doubt PETA can validly assert next friend status to be that voice in federal court and ordered PETA to pay Slater's legal fees. A minority opinion claims PETA's real motivation was to advance its own interests, not Naruto's, which PETA denies. What does this all mean for Naruto? I haven't heard from Naruto, so I don't know what it means. But as for David Slater, he's learned a valuable lesson. Just be careful where you leave your camera. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News.